Bros are back with another challenge. I mean, pretty much all we can do right now is this beating with different countries, because until I get my tech up, those other first two, we're not going to be able to do anything with. So we're going to throw down some India. We're going to take Athens. We're going to use Athens to take Rome with a little bit of goring action. And then once we take Rome, obviously, you know what comes next. The spamming of the super heavies. And I'm going to send one Jimmy. Just one. To the east to take on the Japanese. And a bunch of crappers to take on those Abyssinian bros. I think that's a good setup. And I did count how many cities there are, how many countries there are. There are exactly 25. And we're, this, after this will be 17 of 20. So I bet there's going to be another tier from 20 to 25. I'm sure Easy Tech has it set up to where you have to play with every single country before you get all the rewards. And the last, what was the two last uh, medals? Shit, I can't remember what they were. Uh, the the second, well, second to last one was, um, oh, they damage, which would be pretty good. And and these are these are level three. I guess they don't call them. Medals, are they badges? Whatever the hell they call them. And then the last reward you get is two level three badges that increase HP by 90, which is massive. Which I would use like the uh, the tank assault one and um, the health one probably. Up until I can get like the level five ones and you can actually get that massive boost. from the specific combinations. Anyways. I'm gonna steal a bunch of oil. Make sure we don't run out of oil. Still a crap... Still everybody's oil. All my allies, enemies, it don't matter. So. I don't know how smooth this is gonna go. It could go absolutely smooth. We get right up to Athens. It falls. The guy on it has no health and we take it right away. Or it could kind of be a pain in the ass. I guess we'll find out. But those poor Indian bros, right? The poor bros over in India. How often do they actually get to see their country get played with? Probably very little. I think the last time I did any content with India... Mmm, that's a good question. Let me think. Um, mm, it was probably... You know what? I know what it was. I wasn't playing with India. I was playing against them, but it was... It was the Ahmad Conqueror made for me that was... Well, I kind of asked him if he could do this, and he went ahead and did it, which was cool. It was when PewDiePie and T-Series was going at it and I had to make a PewDiePie and T-Series mod. There was also a mod like that on uh, for Hearts of Iron, wasn't there? Mm, am I misremembering? I'm, I'm pretty sure there was. I'm pretty sure I played it. I'm pretty sure I uploaded content on it. Oh my god, we gotta take on Boris. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the last time I played with Indy. And I even kind of screwed it up, right? Because... And obviously, anybody who watched Sully had noticed this. Uh, there was different factions, so... I mean, it didn't wrap up as soon as I knocked out T-Series, right? Because there was a bunch of other factions involved. But the only thing I was doing was knocking out T-Series. So I thought I had knocked them out, but they ended up with a city like... I was Singapore, maybe? And I had noticed it, and I wrapped up the video, and then in the comments, everybody's complaining that I really didn't beat it because T-Series was still in Singapore. Damn, that seems like a lifetime ago. That was like, what, three years ago? 
Damn, I don't even watch PewDiePie anymore. I don't, does he even make content anymore? The last thing I used to watch of his was, um... Like when he would react to, like, Dr. Phil or... Uh, what else was he reacting to? Um... And there's some other shows he was reacting to. Yeah, that's pretty much the last PewDiePie I was watching. I think PewDiePie was the first person I ever watched on YouTube. He might have been the first person I ever watched. I'm pretty sure. The, the first person I watched consistently was... I mean, I would hop... You know, I'd hop on and occasionally watch... Uh, PewDiePie videos, but I think the first person I watched, like, I would pay, even, you know, pay attention to up their uploads and shit was a bro that wouldn't even make it on YouTube today. He couldn't, e I don't even think he could be on YouTube with the, with some of their most recent policy changes. I don't know how many of you have heard of this guy. Some of you I know probably have. FPS Russia. Like a dude, I think it was from George or something like that, spoke with a really horrible Russian accent, but he would just shoot guns all the time. And he had the coolest guns, shit that, you know, I'll never get to own or even handle. A lot of people get it confused. I probably, even people in the U.S. get it confused. Like you can't have a fully automatic gun in the U.S. unless you have some special ass license from the ATF. Like common people can't have full auto. You can only have semi. This guy must have, I think this guy had special licenses because I'm pretty sure he had fully auto guns. But anyways, that was my first channel that I really started watching. And now so something happened and he went to, went to jail for a while and he got out like a, maybe two years ago he did a lot of podcasts there for a while talking about his jail time it's kind of interesting and now he couldn't even be you'd have to watch that type of stuff on like rumble speaking of other platforms i upload all my content it doesn't get like hardly any views, if any views whatsoever, right? Because I don't, I don't actually try. I just have it basically for a fallback library in case um, YouTube bans me for whatever reason. If YouTube banned me right now, all my videos would be gone. I mean, I think they give you some time to download all your content. But if I didn't have the room for it, and it would take forever, I mean, unless you had a really good, like, uh, download speed, which... I mean, you could... I, I don't think... My library... What if I got almost 2,000 videos? If they give me five days before they cancel, I'd never be able to download all those videos. So anyways, like I was saying, so... There's Odyssey. And there is Rumble. And just, I have it set up to where when I upload a YouTube video, it instantly goes to those two. So I don't really, I don't have to do anything. So I have my catalog, if anything ever ha My YouTube channel gets hacked, YouTube don't believe me or whatever. They delete my channel. Yeah, I've got backups. I got two of them. I don't know how many people that like watch me right here even know about Odyssey and probably definitely don't watch Rumble. And also, I know I've been saying this for, for years. I've been saying this for years. At some point, I would like to get back to streaming again. I just... I don't know. I, I think I would... The reason that makes me want to right now is because of Kick. I don't know how many of you... I, I brought this up a couple videos ago with the Kick platform. They give some 90... Is it 90 or 95 split with the uh, creators for every sub? 
or membership, whatever it is over there. Whichever one is the one you pay for. And it's, Twitch is 50-50. God, if Kit can hold out, if Kit can just hold out for a year or two to show that they're not going under, why would, why would people not leave Twitch? Why would they not leave Twitch to go to Kick? There, there's like a small pool of creators. You're going to get noticed because it's not massive. I mean, the best time to start doing it is right now. If anybody's watching this, you ain't heard about Kick and you want to stream. It's the Wild West right now, though. There's some crazy shit going on out there on Kick. They're, they're trying to get it reined in. They're still like... There's some, there's some, a few bands going out that I've seen recently. People doing just crazy shit. Oof. So guys, this has been pretty smooth, kind of. Right? I think the Italy campaign could have been a little bit smoother. Greece. As smooth as probably it could have been. The, the campaign in Italy, I let my generals take too much damage. Way too much damage. That could have been a lot cleaner. But, Indian bros, you still get to see your country take out the Axis. I was wondering, like, where in the hell Italy was at? I'm still saying it, guys. I'll say it every single full uh, episode of the, like these conquests that I do. Japan <clears throat> in challenge mode is probably not only bad, but one of the worst countries. One of the, it, not one of the, the worst three-star country. It's not even up for debate. Japan is the worst three-star country in the challenge modes. And it's really not even close. I'm trying to think of a country that kind of sucks. That is a three-star. Yeah, everybody does something except for Japan. Ah, uh, here we go. Amsterdam, Copenhagen, Oslo. All right, with that, we should be able to wrap up Germany next round. I gotta be honest. So I got Bulgaria. I got Hungary left. I got Thailand. Those will probably be the last ones I play with. I hate playing with the Axis in 1939. Besides Germany, I hate playing with every other Axis country. Especially the one stars. That should. Oh, we got Guderian. You know what I haven't heard? Speaking of something I talk about usually every time I do a video for one of these. What happened to the big Russian offensive that was supposed to come? Remember, I kept seeing all this stuff on Twitter about a big Russian offensive getting ready to go. I didn't, I haven't seen anything since. That was like a month ago that they were talking about it. Maybe it's late, you know? Maybe, I don't know. I think it was first supposed to be like February 20-something-ish? I guess there was a couple that said it would be in March, so I don't know, maybe. Alright, so we ain't got much left. Okay, Ben, after the 
after the Italian debacle with the super heavies and all the unnecessary damage we took there, it smoothed out a little bit. I would say that was the, uh, you know, the one hiccup we had. Everywhere else. Re relatively smooth. Should be able to take that next round, I think. Yeah, so probably next I'm going to play. Oh. Uh, what should I play next? Got it. Um, only took 30. That's not too bad. 34 rounds playing with India. 17 of 20. I'll probably pay maybe Norway. I don't know. Denmark. All right, bros. If you're enjoying this content, you know what to do. Solid subscribe, hit the notification button. I'll see you back here for our next upload. Peace. Boom, out.